Hello, everybody. Tuesday, January 21st, 2020. Just wanting to make kind of a quick video. Well, I don't know how quick it'll be. But I uh, wanted to acknowledge Larry Walker in his Hall of Fame induction. I have Larry on a 91 Stadium Club. To Ed, best wishes. And I really like this one because he's in his Expos uniform. And he's a Canadian guy, so I think that's cool. And it just looks really sharp. I also have him on a 03 Tops. There he is in his Rockies uniform. Uh, now that he's in, he's in. And the Coors Field uh, myth or whatever has been busted. Uh, really impressed with uh, Larry Walker's candidacy. He made up something like 61 points in four years. So there's a path for a lot of players that start out with a lower percentage and can sort of climb up the ranks that way. I uh, really thought Schilling was going to get in this year, but it looks like he's over, was he a 69, 70? So w without an obvious uh, slam dunk first ballot, Hoffer coming on the ballot as a, as a new nominee, uh, I, I very much see Schilling getting in next year. Bonds and Clemens really failed to to break out of that 60, you know, low 60 area where they've been hanging out. Don't just don't know that I see that happening unless there's writers wanting them to sweat it out uh, until their 10th year. So next year will be their ninth year, Bond and Clemens, Bonds and Clemens on the ballot. And so unless there's all these writers saying, well, we're just going to make them wait 10 years, then we'll then we'll put them in. I don't know that I see that happening. So it'll be fun to watch it play out. We'll see. We'll see. Um, just back to the Walker thing real quick. I, I don't fully understand the punishing players for playing in Colorado. Where do they make Olympic athletes train? Where do they make Olympic athletes train in Colorado? Because the air is thinner and it's harder to breathe. So when you bring them down to L.A. or wherever sea level for the Olympic Games, they're conditioned and they're like superhuman in a way. OK, so if we're punishing Larry Walker for hitting home runs in thinner air, why aren't we giving him a little credit for being able to go, you know, first to third on a single to right field? Um, we're not. <laughs> and I just think that's interesting. Um, how many home runs did... Ted Williams hit down the right field line at Fenway, and yet nobody was suggesting, oh, a lot of his home runs were cheap and it only counted because he was able to get them around Pesky Pole and all this stuff. So it's just interesting to me, but I'm glad that the barrier has been broken and Larry's in. Also, there's some other player that got they got elected today. I don't know. I don't really, really keep up with... Uh, with everything, you know, but hey, Larry Walker's in, so that's that's awesome. Uh, second order of business today. Yesterday, I did a collection showcase on these 92 Action Packed ASG cards, and I was showing this one off, and I mentioned that whenever he signed, like, larger items, he had a stamp that he used, Virgil Trucks. His nickname was Fire, Virgil Fire Trucks had a stamp that he used, and he would sign his name on either side of the fire on the stamp. And Jason, poor man Stack, said, hey, I would like I would like to see that. So I pulled, I had an index card. Here we are, best wishes, Virgil, fire, trucks. And there you see the stamp, and he's even got a pitcher on either side. Looks like it's probably him, right-handed right, right pitcher. Uh, Jason, if you want this, this is an extra, I'm going to send this to you. So let me know. I'll hit you up in an email because I, you might not always get to the video right away, but we're actually going to need this space back. I'm taking all this stuff down. Anyway, Jason, if you want that, thanks for showing interest and everybody, I got a lot of great feedback on the collection showcase from yesterday. Uh, if you didn't get to watch it, there's a link right there. Boop. And uh, I think that one turned out really, really great. So check it out. 
We're going to leave our layer walkers up. You know what? I got to take one of them down. We're going to take that one down. I like the Canadian Stadium Club one the best. Larry, where are you going? He's a cool guy. Did you guys see his interview? He's wearing like a ridiculous SpongeBob shirt. This is great. Okay, so next, I uh, got a lot in from Facebook. And I've been trying to buy more out of Facebook groups because people are willing to to ship in plain envelopes on there. And it's just big, big savings. And you're not paying fees and taxes and all this junk. And you just pay what you pay. And it's really working out nicely. I got a stack of, these are supposed to be two bucks each, but if you got um, four, you got a freebie. So I got an 83 Tops Carl Taylor, and he does not sign at all. So for two bucks, that was a slam dunk. Probably would have gone higher than that, depending on my financial situation. Jim Brazil. And he does sign, but I didn't have this card in stock. So by the time I pay to get it here and pay for postage to get it TTM'd, and um, still two bucks is a great deal on that. Happy to add that to my set. Dennis Leonard, who I won't tell it now, but I have a pretty good uh, Dennis Leonard story. Maybe we'll save it for another time. He started charging... And I figure he charges more than two bucks and postage and all that stuff. So this would cost me six or seven bucks to uh, duplicate. I got it for two. Pretty good deal. Uh, this is actually a photo. Mel Clark, who played for the Phillies in the 50s, uh, deceased in 2015, I believe. And I just thought, hey, it's a cool, cool old Phillies photo and... Don't have any Mel Clark autographs laying around, so we'll go for it. So pull the trigger on that. And uh, it's just a photo uh, printed off. So this I thought was cool. It is Scott Spezio. And because I already have uh, Orlando Cabrera from this set, and I just thought this was like a cool sort of companion for it. So I grab that. Uh, we'll put him over Mel Clark. And then, of everything that was left, I still had my freebie to pick. There was no set hits or anything that was like, slam dunk, I need to have that. But I was really attracted to this Davy Cruz card just because of the shine. And how the blue on the autograph complements the blue border on the rookie here. And that looks really nice. So that's just an example of something where you pick it up, but you don't necessarily have a spot in any of your you know, collections, air quotes, collections for it. But I have a whole binder for stuff. It just looks cool. And I'll certainly be adding that uh, Davy Cruz to it. That's it for today. Congratulations again, Mr. Walker. You're in elite company, despite what people say about the hall being watered down. You still need to be in the top uh, tenth of 1% of all, all baseball players all time to be to be enshrined and you certainly were that classy guy cool guy and a heck of a great ball player that's it for now we'll uh, see you next time